Hello from Slovenia again. Today is the sixth, sixth one from my chakra series with deep and lip technique. Um, it's a third eye chakra and my background is kind of dark, bluish, purple with some indigo shade. I mixed permanent blue violet with some indigo from Amsterdam, no, Artist Colors Indigo Hue. So I mix this into the permanent blue violet to make it more indigo blue violet or how can I say. And colors that I will use, I will use ultramarine blue and I mixed uh, this background with some pearl white for this amethyst kind of shade and permanent blue violet pearl white, Pebeo iridescent precious gold, uh, extreme sheen sapphire and Amsterdam ultramarine violet. And while I will follow my intuition because with the third eye is all about, not all about, it's a lot about our intuition. So if you want to hear more about um, third eye chakra you can listen while I will do my puddles or dots otherwise you can skip that so today we are talking about the third eye chakra the third eye chakra is located in the center of the forehead and it acts like the individual center of wisdom and consciousness, intuition. Uh, it allows, allows clear thoughts or, and self-reflection, or how can I say? Uh, and... Um, it represents divine wisdom and our mystical and mystical states of consciousness. So, you know, when we look with our pair of eyes, our physical eyes, or how can I say, we see duality, we see more materialistic um, side of of our um, life, or how can I say? But the third eye, eye is our intuition, is the divine, the divine look at the world, or how can I say? And the concept of the sixth sense or strong intuition came from this chakra, so. Some people have this chakra really... It's so hard to explain. Um, I believe that I follow my intuition quite a lot. And I think that I don't have a lot of problems with this chakra. Uh, so I will not talk a lot today. I don't know it's just too much about this chakra, I think. Uh, but I told you the most important things, but you can already always read a lot about this on the internet or you have a lot of explanations. I didn't do a marvelous job with this part, but I don't know. So let's draw some kind of petal shapes. And spray my paper napkin with water. Just to soften it down.
I really don't know how this one will look like. I had quite some troubles with finding the right colors and everything for this one. Interesting. So let's put down my napkin. And the other part. Okay. It's done. to the lifting part. Not too much lacing, but I like it because for me it's just the right colors that I had in my head because you know I maybe this petal is a little but that's how it is um, and with all these metallics will be really really pretty I think so I was hoping for a little more of this sapphire blue coming out, but it didn't. But it gives this shade of blue on the ultramarine violet and it's just okay, I think. So, let me take you down for a close-up. So here is a close-up. So sorry for the glare again. Maybe this way will be better, I don't know. So these colors kind of represent my third eye. <laughs> uh, and I really like that it's not a lot, a lot, sorry, of lacing. So it's quite, I don't know, interesting. I really like it. So this was it. And because of all these metallics, don't forget even this whoop, violet here is mixed with pearl white. So it will shimmer and this blue will shimmer maybe this way. Okay, this will be better way to show you the real colors maybe. So I will say that we have one left, the crown chakra. So this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!